Hey my friends, it's me, Handyman Hal. I hope you're doing absolutely awesome today. Check it out. Look at this. I'm in the jaws of a gator. Oh wow. Oh, I'm here at Gatorland in Orlando, Florida. This place is amazing. I get to be a handyman today and help out all kinds of awesome jobs today. You know, I might get to meet some reptiles ooh, and all kinds of different animals. Oh, I'm really excited. Come on, let's go have some fun. Oh yeah. Oh. friends now it's time to go on an adventure in this thing oh you know what this is this is a swamp buggy here at Gatorland they go on some wild off-road adventures in over 40 acres of swamp land oh, check out these tires they're humongous oh and look they've even got some custom rims oh, see the alligator there when oh, it says Gatorland these tires are 44 inches <laughs> well of course they've got to be big we're going to be going through the swamp lands <laughs> look at this engine <laughs> oh, look. Caterland Adventure Park <laughs> yeah look at this amazing engine <laughs> oh wow all kinds of cool stuff and of course it's got to be raised off the ground because we're going through the swamp land right we got the radiator oh and look look at the cool shocks they got there can you see those got that Oh, and then the drive shaft that spins. Wow, this is gonna be amazing. It's a pretty massive engine. Let me show you how you get in. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, so what you gotta do to crawl in, one foot on the tire, grab a hold, oh, and sit right there. There we go, let's see. Pull up, <laughs> oh yes. I'm gonna crawl over this bar right here. Oh, now we're on the swamp buggy. Now we're gonna go for an adventure. Come on, let's go. Oh, ooh, this looks like a good seat right here. <laughs> let's go. All right, whoa, we're off in the swamp buggy. It's a little bumpy. I wonder what all we're gonna be able to see out here today. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Had to move to the front because we're coming up on Swampy Sal's Gator Pond. And look at these gators. Oh, oh, oh. and there's one right there. You see that one? Whoa! Oh, oh, that one's called Pops. See, he's the oldest gator they have here. Oh, oh, Pops is 74 years old. Wow. So we literally get to drive through this. Oh, look. Look at all of these gators. if anybody's home. <laughs> that was awesome. Driving through that swamp with all those alligators. <laughs> it's amazing, look at them. No, it looks like the bridge is out. Maybe we might just need to go over it or go some other way. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh, 
Maybe we're gonna go over it. No! Wow! Just a little bumpy! Whoa! Oh, wow! That was amazing! Who would ever thought a swamp buggy? on an amazing adventure in the swamp. You know, that was great. It's in all kinds of cool wildlife, even some alligators, over a hundred alligators win that swamp. Oh, it was great. Oh, well, thanks for the ride. It was an awesome ride. Had to even hold on to my helmet. I see some more cool stuff. Come on, let's go. Oh, all right, my friend. Now we get to get up close and personal with a few alligators. Come on. <laughs> Come on in the gate. We got to shut it behind us. <laughs> oh, look. It's our guy now. This is Mr. Brandon. How are you? I'm good, handyman. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yes. He is a gator expert. <laughs> so what are we going to be doing today? So I thought it'd be awesome if you got the chance to feed some alligators up close and personal. <laughs> Really? Absolutely really, yeah. So really cool what are we experience. Gonna feed them? We're gonna feed them chicken. And and don't worry, I got a glove for you. I like chicken. Yeah, as long as you're not the chicken. Okay, oh okay. yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, you don't wanna be the chicken. No. So we got chicken for you, all right? Okay, cool. And we're gonna toss them out. We got about 150 alligators out here. We're gonna try and get as many over as we can. This is one of the main feeding areas for oh, our alligators. Wow. And and our guests, our, our folks that come here to Gatorland, get a chance to do this every single day. Really? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's very exciting. So I'm gonna give you a glove. Okay. You put it on your throwing hand, all right? And I'm gonna call some alligators over because they're they're running a little slow this morning. They're they're a little shy, okay? Wow. And then uh, we're gonna call some over, and then I'm gonna show you the best way to feed them, which is just tossing the chicken to them. But there's a specific spot that you want to try and toss to. Okay. Okay. And then we'll have some fun feeding them. Oh wow! Okay. You ready for it? Sounds absolutely it. awesome. Right. So come on down, follow me here. Oh, oh come on! All right. And oh, you can see. You can see the chicken right there. Chicken? That's raw chicken. And look at it. Little them. legs. Oh, Some wow. of these guys are already coming in here. All right. But we have a call to call on the alligators to try and get them here. So this is what it sounds like. It's like, gators, let's go. Wow. Gators, let's go. Let's go up here. Let's go. Oh, is that that? Woo! Oh, here they come. Look. And then what we want to do with the chicken, because some of them might climb up here on the land. This is Scuba Steve. Oh, wow. All right. And Scuba Steve is actually a, he's partially blind and he's a little deaf as far oh. as alligators go. So he follows movement. He can feel vibrations really, really good. And he'll follow movement. But what you want to do with the chicken is you want to toss it way out there, like right next to their face. Okay. So the way that alligators and crocodiles eat, they actually swing their heads side to side searching for food. So anything brushes up against their face, they're gonna bite for it. Whether it's in the water or up on land. Oh, wow. And you just toss it right in and they'll search for it. And we're gonna get some more swimming. You can see them starting to swim oh, in here. Yeah, here they come. Yep. So about 150 alligators out here. This is our 10 acre breed marsh. Wow. So 100 females and 50 very lucky male alligators. Right. You know, they got good odds on, on a Friday night dating. <laughs> Some of our oldest alligators live out here and some of our biggest alligators live oh, out here. Oh, wow. Yes. So if you want to go ahead and toss, okay. you got a piece. I'm going to put the bucket down right here. We're going to keep Stuba, Scuba Steve a little further back here. We don't want him to come up too close. Steve, right here, buddy. So we'll try and keep him right there at bay. But whoever you want to toss to, you can toss right, here to. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was wow. a good toss. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> oh, that's and awesome. Keep, Keep okay. feeding, man. Okay. Keep feeding. Oh, wow. Can we do right there? To the yeah, you can try side. and toss it to her. Here we go. Oh, oh. That's oh, okay. Oh, oh. She'll oh. find it. There, there she goes. There she goes. She got it. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, it looks like they're a little hungry. They do, and they, they don't chew their food. They swallow whole, so they need bite-sized pieces. So that's why we cut up the chicken like this. Oh, that's great. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. When we started this, we had like, what, four alligators? Now we got like 15. Look at all of them. They're starting to come over. All right, let's see if we can get right here on the edge here. Oh, that oh, was wow. a good toss. Wow. <laughs> Now they you're actually, really hungry. what's really cool, Handyman Hal, is you're tossing to an alligator, this big guy right here in the middle, his name is Bogey. So he's part of our conservation arm we have here called Gatorland Global, oh, wow. where we can rescue some of these big problem alligators. So whether they've been fed by people or they're just too comfortable being around people, people don't like that, you right. know? So <laughs> we work here in the state of Florida to be able to get some of these nuisance gators and let them live out the rest of their life in alligator paradise oh, right that's here. Great. Here. that's great, that's <laughs> great. Oh, well, they're getting fed really well they today. They are. So, Mr. Brandon. Yes. How long have you been working here? So I've been here for a real long time, almost 20 years working here wow. at Gatorland. Yep. Steve, you stay, you stay, stop. <laughs> Sometimes they like to push the envelope and get a little further. So we're right. gonna we're gonna give him a little piece right here, get him back a little bit. That's Scuba Steve. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Check it out. Wow. It yeah. Goes, goes right down. Now, do they have tongues? They do have tongues. So if if, if you'll notice when he opens a little bit, if he goes for that piece of food right down on the bottom. It's all connected inside there. They can't stick it out or else they bite it every single time. I got you. So got it's you. all connected down on the bottom and he missed those pieces. That's okay. He backed up a little bit. Steve. There you go, Steve. You get that piece. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There you go, buddy. He might be getting full. He's going to hold on to it. So what's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. That's a great question. Yeah. And a lot of people ask that question all the time because you know what's really cool? Florida is the only place naturally where gators and crocodiles exist in the wild together. Wow. Right here down, down south in the Everglades. So the difference, easiest way to tell, is the shape of the nose. Alligators have a big round face like the letter U, and crocodiles have a long skinny face like the letter V. That's oh, wow. the easiest way to tell them apart. <laughs> well, they're getting close. <laughs> they're getting a little close. <laughs> oh, can, we, can we toss one too? Go right ahead, yes. Right, here we go. Oh, oh, almost. Oh, no. Try again. Here we go. We'll try the big one there. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And so how big can they get? So the biggest alligator ever found was found in the late 1800s, and it was 19 feet 2 inches long. Wow. Weighed probably about 2,000 pounds. Now, oh. it's an unofficial measurement because back then they didn't have... You know, the, the, the gentleman that used it used a, a shotgun to measure <laughs> the alligator, okay? And that's not an official measurement right, tool. Right, right, But these guys get huge. So male alligators can average about 12 to 14 feet full grown, wow. and females average seven to nine feet full that's grown. That's long. Yes. Oh, and so, and so they're really, really long, but they're in the water. Yes. So do they sleep in the water or do they sleep in land? They actually do both. Sometimes they'll sleep in the water. They can, they can sit underneath for a long time, holding their breath, and they might fall asleep. And sometimes they sit up on land. But we always feel they sleep with one eye open because they always know what's right. going on around them. Right. Oh, so you said they hold their breath, right? Yes. So how long can they hold their breath on the water? So believe it or not, if they're sitting real still as an adult alligator, they can hold their breath for an hour and a half to two hours without wow. coming up for another one. If That's they're sitting impressive. real still, if they're moving around a lot, they got to keep popping up. Wow. But even when they pop up, they're only sticking their nostrils above the surface of the water and taking that big breath of air and going right back down. <laughs> What's that sound they're making? So that's actually a hissing noise. That's them Ooh. letting us know, hey, we're sitting right here. Sometimes it could be them telling us, hey, I don't like you in my spot anymore. You never know. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, and so do they, do they lay eggs? They do lay eggs, yep. So okay. all, they're, they are reptiles, and that means they're cold-blooded. So they need heat to be able to move around and swim and digest their food. And their babies come out of an egg, just like dinosaurs. They hatch out of an egg. And females will actually lay 35 to 40 eggs in their nest. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so what is a baby alligator called? A grunt, because a of grunt. the noise they make. And this is the sound <laughs> that they make. It sounds like this. It goes, oh, 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 oh. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, wow. That's great. 
Yeah. So do you have any baby alligators here? We do have baby alligators here. You know, we're, <laughs> we're known as the alligator capital of the world because we got close to 2,500 wow. alligators and crocodiles total. Wow. And we have them all the way as brand new babies, all the way to our big guys that you see right here in front of us. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> We've got birds too. We do. I guess birds want some chicken too. They might. Those are black buzzards, a vulture that come in for a free meal. So I do notice sometimes that they actually hold their mouth open and yep. just sit with their mouth open. Why do they do that? So they're actually regulating their body temperature. So the same way a dog would yeah. pant to cool down, these guys are doing it to either cool down or warm up at certain times of the year. Oh, wow. And they can sit there for hours with their mouth open and they can sit there for hours without moving a muscle. And that's why these guys have been around since wow. the dinosaurs. This is awesome. <laughs> I ever thought I could feed an alligator. <laughs> well, let's try one more. Let's see, here we go. Let's see, that one looks hungry right there. Can we get to him? Oh, oh, he's got it. Yes, yeah. he's got it. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. Oh, wow. What'd you think about that? It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, only place you can feed alligators and not have to worry about going to jail or being right. eaten by one. Ooh. Steve, stop. You're pushing it. It's good to see. <laughs> I tell you what, he's pushing the limit. How about we get out of here and go see some baby alligators? Oh, really? You want to? Oh, let's go. Let's do it. Come on, let's go. It's a baby alligator. <laughs> it is. Oh, and so what what do we call baby alligators? We call them grunts. And the it's reason grunt. yeah. And the reason why we call them grunts is because of the noise that they make. That's right. Yep. That little mm, 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 noise. Yeah. And I don't oh. know if he'll do it. He's a little feisty one. He's ready to go. But look at all those teeth in there. They actually have 74 teeth. Wow. And now are those teeth pretty sharp now with They're being a baby? They're pretty like sharp right now. Oh, yep. So wow. they hatch out of an egg with teeth ready to go and they're eating little insects and minnows when they're this size. And believe it or not, Handyman Hal, this guy is not even a year old yet. Oh, wow. Not even a year old yet. Oh, and look, you can see all of his scales on there. Now why, now why does an alligator, crocodile have like these scales? So they're all a little bit different colors. So your crocodiles are more like the olive greens, tans, kind of brownish colors in their mm -hmm. skin. Where the alligators, the American alligator, it is kind of jet black. But when they're babies, they have that yellowish striping, mm -hmm. tannish striping on those scales for them. And that helps them blend in in the shallows, in the grasses and the reeds. Okay. Now as they become older and grow up, they lose that striping and become that jet black to blend in that muddy, murky water water we have oh, here in the wow. state of Florida. Oh, and they have webbed feet too. Webbed feet, yep. So oh, yes. he's trying to go for yeah. us. He's ready. He's doing what alligators are meant to do. Right. So they have four feet, okay? They got five toes on the front and four toes on the back. And that webbing in between, of course, is because they spend most of their time in water. And that helps them swim around in the water, even though they don't use their feet a lot. It's all that tail they use for swimming. Right. But the five toes, they have three nails on all four feet. And these toes that don't have nails are naturally like that. They're called tactile toes. They're used for feeling. They're sensory Ooh. toes. So as they walk on the bottom of the lakes and the ponds and the rivers, they can feel for any fish and turtles or whatever they're stepping on. Oh, you hear it? Oh, Did you hear him? Oh, yeah. Did you hear him grunting? Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. He might do it. He got shy. He got shy on us. Oh, that's really, really <laughs> awesome. <laughs> And then you can see, we were talking about the tongue earlier. Mm -hmm. So you can see, there's that tongue. It's all on the bottom, it's connected right there. So wow, they can't yeah. stick out. And then in the back of the throat, it seals up. And that's called an epiglottis or a palatal valve. And that seals up so they don't get water down in. Oh, wow. When they well, open they're in the out. water. Exactly. Oh, that's so great. they won't drown. Now, do, do alligators and crocodiles have ears? They do actually have ears, and it's kind of hard to see on this little guy. It's better on a bigger guy, but let me show you. We're gonna we're gonna let him relax here for a second. But right here behind his eye is a little flap of skin right here mm -hmm. that seals up. You can see that little hole. That's the ear. So they actually have ears like bullfrogs. It's a big circle and it's called a tympanic membrane. Mm. And that flap of skin just seals up the ear watertight so they don't get swimmer's ear. Right. No water <laughs> in the ears. And then the eyeballs are really cool too. The eyes actually go down in their head. They sink down in to protect them. 
just like that. Wow, that's really cool. So nothing can scratch their eyes, nothing can poke out their eyes. And when he opens, watch that. You see that eyelid come across right there? Yeah. That's called a nictitating membrane, and that's a built-in swimming goggle. Oh, that's so they really can cool. See underwater, yeah. That built-in swimmer goggles. <laughs> Would you like to hold them? Oh, well, can I really? Oh, yep. So you're gonna hold them like a remote control to the TV, just like that, and then hold the tail. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's, let's try it like that right there. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, and he's grunting. He's grunting. He's grunting. Oh, oh he's so cute. Wow. <laughs> Look at him. I'm holding a baby alligator. Oh, hey there, buddy. Oh. Now, handyman Hal, if you were holding this guy out in the wild. You'd probably be running because mama would be chasing I you. I bet so. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. So, you talk about the mom, right? We do. Oh, so, how many eggs can a mama alligator have? So, they actually lay between 35 to 40 is an average in every single nest. Wow. Now, here in the state of Florida, they estimate about a million and a half to two million alligators in the wild. Wow. A lot of them. So hypothetically, half of those are female, but not every baby alligator survives. They're tiny. They're only six inches long when they hatch out in the egg. Oh, wow. And handyman Hal, check this out. This is what look. alligator eggs look like. Look at that. Yep. So they're kind of oval right shaped <laughs> and stuff. And we've actually hollowed out the eggs, so there's nothing inside of it. These, these eggs were not good eggs from a nest that we had last year. And so we hollow these out to be able to show people what eggs look like. And that's exactly what they look like. And you'll notice, look at this, this marking that we have on top. Mm -hmm. So when we collect the eggs, because we do that. We don't let them hatch out here and in the park because we have outdoor predators. We don't right, want right, anything right. to get them. So we collect all the eggs and incubate them ourselves, but we mark the top of the egg the way it's sitting in the nest. Because if you pull the egg out and you turned it over, it break off what's inside, what it's attached to, and then the baby alligator wouldn't be able to develop, oh, it wouldn't survive. Wow. So we have to mark the top of the egg to be able to show what the top is and be very careful with them. And then they sit in the incubators. And believe it or not, the temperature in the nest determines whether the baby alligator is gonna be a boy alligator or a girl alligator. Oh, wow, yeah. really? <laughs> so we keep the temperature at an even amount, the right temperature, it's between 89 degrees and 92 degrees Fahrenheit, and they'll have an even amount of male or female oh, alligators. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Well, you can see, I mean, how big they get. Six right. inches long when they hatch out an egg, all curled up inside that. And right. then in the first year, which this guy right here has been eating really good so far, <laughs> they can grow an additional six to 12 inches. Wow. And then they grow a foot a year for the next five years. Yeah, you're a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eventually. Uh, oh, and look, they have, they have noses too. They have nostrils, yep, that's the nose up there. And when they actually break out of the egg, they have something called an egg tooth, which is right up here. Oh, you <laughs> that <laughs> right up here the tip of the snout is a little tooth that eventually goes away but it's called the egg tooth and helps them break through that hard oh, shell. Oh wow. <laughs> oh it looks like he might be a little hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> All right well let's get you back to your brothers and sisters. See you later alligator. <laughs> After a while crocodile right? right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah great. really really neat normal baby alligator right here and believe it or not, here at Gatorland, we got some even rarer alligators. Ooh, really? And they look way different than these guys. Can we Let's see them? Let's go check them out. Oh, awesome. Brandon, <laughs> look at this one. I know. This one's really different. Way different, right? Yeah. Way different. So this is what's known as a leucistic alligator, a white alligator. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple differences. So we have what's called albino alligators. Right, right. And then you have these guys, leucistic. And the difference between them is an albino alligator is all white, but it has no color, no pigment color of it mm. in, in its whole body. So it is all white, and the eyeballs are like white pinkish, almost yeah. like see-through. Where the leucistic, they're missing some of the pigment. So you'll notice on Trezo's face here, he's got some different coloring, that darker patching. That's right. that dark, normal pigment color of an alligator, mm -hmm. and they have blue eyes. Oh, that's right. Which Can is really you see cool. see my friends? Can yep. you see the blue eyes? Oh, that's really cool. And these guys were actually found in 1987 in Louisiana in the wild. Oh, wow. Yeah. And normally they would not be able to survive. Between albino and leucisticators, they would not be able to survive in the wild. For one, they can't camouflage and hide. And then secondly, they don't produce enough vitamin D in their skin to protect themselves from the sun. Wow. 
And now does their skin still feel the same it as a regular? It feels exactly alligator? the same way as an alligator. So this is a normal American alligator other than the fact that it's got this color going on in its skin. So wow. he is about 12 feet long and he's actually 36 years old. Well, 36, that's not too, too long. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> oh, but he does have some really cool teeth in there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you feed him the same thing? Same Chicken, thing. Chicken, like Chicken. Okay, cool. red meat, fish. Ooh, fish. Yep. Ooh. They like oh, fish. Oh, oh, oh. And then, like I said, we got those special pellets that are designed for them to be able to eat trezo. You stay. <laughs> he's a good alligator, though. All right. We do a lot of work with him, and he's very famous and it's very cool and very rare, so we want people to be able to see them and learn all about them. Absolutely. Well, it was certainly nice to meet you today. <laughs> you look really awesome. Yes. Why are these flamingos pink? So the reason why they're pink is actually what they eat. And it's a type of algae in their food that gives them that pink color. So there's a myth saying that flamingos eat shrimp and that's what gives them the pink color because shrimp are pink. Well, wow. that's not the case. <laughs> shrimp are only pink once you cook them up. That's when they become that color. Right. So it's a type of algae in the food that gives them the pink. And we actually have two different types of flamingos here at Handyman Hal. These dark pink ones that we have right here are your standard American flamingo, or what they call Caribbean flamingo. Mm. And then these lighter pink ones are Chilean flamingos. And wow. they're a little bit smaller. And well, again, it looks like they need to eat a little bit more with some algae in them because they're not that darker. many pink. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And if you notice, some of them are standing on one leg. Yeah. So why do they stand on one leg? That's to help give their legs a break, rest. Oh. So they'll stand on one to give it a, a break. When they feel tired enough, they'll switch legs. Oh, well maybe I might need to Let's do that. Let's try it, let's try it. We'll stand like flamingo, now switch legs, and you tuck them up. That's oh, that's sleep. great. <laughs> that's how they rest. Oh, wow. And, and you notice like he's, they got their heads tucked in the feathers. Mm -hmm. They're sleeping, they're resting right now. And that's nice. how they give their neck a rest, their head a rest, whole body. That's really cool. I know. <laughs> Look, there's a bird, and he's on the alligator. <laughs> oh, you know, maybe he's gator surfing. <laughs> yeah, awesome job there, bird. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> yeah. This is a turtle. Well, a tortoise. A tortoise. A tortoise, oh, yeah. Wow. So, the difference between them is these guys live up on land where a turtle can go in both land and water. Oh, wow. And so this is, his name is Dean. Oh, hey Dean. And he's known what as an Aldabra tortoise. Ooh. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, he is pretty big. How, how, much, how much does he weigh? So, Hal, he weighs 500 pounds. Wow. And believe it or not, this is gonna, this is gonna blow your mind. He's 113 years old. <laughs> wow, 113 years yeah. old? Wow. And I thought he'd be hungry for some lettuce, but he's being a little shy this morning or right now, you know? So, wow. yeah, but you can, if you want to feel him, you can feel him right here okay. on his head. He likes his neck pet, uh, scratched as well. He might move a little bit more, oh, but he's really man. friendly. Oh, wow, he's, a, he's rough. Yep, very oh, rough skin. Wow. But these guys come from the Seychelles Islands which oh, is off wow. the coast of Africa. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. And he's got a really cool shell. Right. Feel that? Oh, wow. And so so does he grow with his shell? Does, I mean, I know he lives in his shell, but does he grow with the shell? Does his shell grow with his body? It does. So believe it or not, when this guy was born 113 years ago, I'll show you. That's about as big as he was. Oh, shell wow. Shell and all. So it grows with him. And his shell is actually made out of the same stuff as our fingernails, keratin. Oh. Oh wow! That's what it's made out of. Oh wow! And so, why is there is there a reason why there's like platelets or or what do you call these different sections? That's exactly what they are. They're platelets right there. So they're those are like basically his scales uh, because he is a reptile. Tortoises and turtles are reptiles. So that basically would be his version of a scale 
on his shell, um, but platelets right there. And then these are kind of scutes around the edge, just kind of like an alligator crocodile, those sharp spiky things on them are called scutes. And so that grows and helps protect him from predators or other tortoises when the big males, they'll actually fight over territory oh, with each yeah. other and they push each other over and all that stuff and so that hard shell helps protect them and then this hard skin help protect his legs he could tuck those in wow. now he won't go fully into a shell like some turtles do um, but they go in a good ways to help protect and then these legs tuck up to give them that extra skin up a, a layer of protection wow that's see awesome. if eat a piece of lettuce oh maybe he might go he's opened his mouth a little bit i don't know if he wants any are you hungry dean there, there he goes. goes a little bit wow look at there <laughs> there you go, buddy. Now you gotta watch your fingers when we feed him because his beak, his mouth is very, very sharp. He doesn't really have teeth. They just have like sharp little row. Oh, that's great. Oh, <laughs> would you like to feed him? I would love to. There you go. Let oh, me move you out know, of the way here and you can feed him. Oh, here we go. All right, buddy. Here you go. Oh, are you hungry? <laughs> There you go, buddy. Oh, and he does have a really cool looking tongue. Oh, look, I think he's gonna stand up. <laughs> Are you gonna stand up, buddy? Oh, 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 almost. A little bit more. Oh, that's great. And the type of tortoise that Dean is, he's considered the second largest species of tortoise in the world. All right, Dean. Well, it was nice to meet you today. I guess you're ready to go too, aren't you? <laughs> oh. Let's crawl out of here like a tortoise. Oh, nice and slow and easy. Look, now comes a really important job. We get to test out their zip line. Screaming gator zip line. This is gonna be fantastic. I mean, look, look at that tower. Oh, yes. Oh, but first, we gotta make sure we have our safety equipment on, like our harness, that's it. Oh, and this, this is our leash here. Oh, and look. It's a carabiner, Ooh, and it's orange. I love that. Oh, and this, this is the pulley. This is what actually attaches to the line. Oh, ooh, and I almost forgot my helmet. And look, I got an orange one today. We'll see, we make sure it's nice and snug. Oh, we're good to go. Let's go have some fun. Come on, oh yeah. Friends, we're getting ready to go on the zip line. We got all our safety equipment on. And also, gotta make sure that you listen to your zip line guide and all of the rules. <laughs> and over this one, there's some alligators. We're gonna zip line over alligators. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, here we go. Right, I'm gonna get you hooked up. So you're safe, you can come on up here. Oh yeah! Stand up here on this stool here, sir. Oh, oh wow. I see the gators down there. Oh, this is amazing. All right, I'm gonna check you, make sure you're safe. There's some big alligators down there. Oh, oh wow. All right. You see the pulley and all of the carabiners are connected all nice and safely. And we're connected and ready to go. <laughs> ready for you. All right, you can step down here and we're gonna turn you around. Oh, we're gonna, gonna go backwards. We're gonna Come go on. backwards. One, two, three. Wow! 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 Oh, look, it's a gator! Wow! Oh, wow. Gator! Oh, we're almost at the end now. Whoa! 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 Wow! Oh, look, it's a gator! Wow! 
Hey, we're almost to the end now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This zip line goes over the feeding pond we were at earlier. Here we go. Wow, that was awesome. I just zip lined over 200 gators. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, but now look, I get to do this. Oh, this is a suspension bridge. Oh, I think it's gonna be awesome. Come on, let's go. <laughs> look at this. We're walking on a suspension bridge. <laughs> oh, nice and easy. Oh, nice and easy. Oh, this is great. Oh, wow. Look. We're almost there. We're almost there. One step at a time. Oh, one step at a time. Whoa. Don't look down. Don't look down. <laughs> oh, now we're on the last zip line. Can I get to do some racing? <laughs> I wonder who's going to win. Me for my zip line guide. <laughs> right, here we go. I think he's beating me. Whoa! 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 Wow! That was absolutely awesome. Did I win or did he win? I don't know. <laughs> well, I think the zip line is good to go. You even get the zip line over gators. You gotta come and check this out. Oh, thanks to Nick and to Megan. They were my zip line guides and they were awesome. Wonder what else we can get into. Come on, let's go. <laughs> One of the coolest experiences, other than everything we've already done here at Gatorland and iconic, is to be able to hold a snake and an alligator at the same time here at Gatorland. So this is one of our more famous photo opportunities. Wow. All right. Don't so, be so nervous. So not only do we have alligators here at Gatorland, yep. we have snakes, We got dude. snakes, we got bugs, birds, lizards, panthers, bobcats. What kind of snake is this? So this is called a ball python. Okay. And the reason why they call them ball pythons is because they ball up like that. And this is probably one of the most popular pet snakes in the pet trade here. Oh, so a lot wow. of people have them, but it's cool. It's a constrictor, so it bites and squeezes its prey right there. But it's not going to bite you, I promise, okay. all right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this around your neck here, just like this. Boom. And just let it crawl around and do its thing. Oh, wow. All right? And then I'm going to hand you an alligator, too, okay? Now, this Did one's a little it? bit bigger <laughs> than that baby. This is a three-year-old alligator. And we have to secure the mouth with electrical tape so it can't bite you because it would. Right. That's what gators do. <laughs> but you can hold them like that. Wow. And then this is like one of the best photos we ever get here Check at Gatorland. Check that out. <laughs> I've got a snake and an alligator. <laughs> Let's say cheese. <laughs> All right, Mr. Brandon. So Gatorland, yeah. where's Gatorland located? We are in Orlando, Florida. Right. And we've been around since 1949. Oh, so, a long so time. all of my friends that want to come to Gatorland, can you kind of tell them what to expect? Definitely. So you come to Gatorland, you, I mean, other than seeing alligators or crocodiles, that's what we're famous for, we have all kinds of other animals that you can see. Snakes, right. bugs, birds, lizards, panthers, bobcats. We have a petting zoo, a train ride, that swamp buggy ride, right, yeah. and the zip line where you go over gators oh, and crocodiles wow. too. Oh look, it's <laughs> like they're making friends. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> oh, well you certainly have got to come and check out Gatorland. That's awesome. Oh, wow, my friends. We've had an awesome day here at Gatorland in Orlando, Florida. Oh, we've done so many cool things. We've learned about alligators. Oh, we learned about tortoises today too. That was cool, we got to feed them 
I even got to feed alligators. Oh, we even zip lined over a bunch of alligators. And we took a swamp buggy ride where they live. <laughs> oh, but my favorite part, I got to hold a baby alligator. It was amazing. Well, thanks for watching Handyman How today. We'll see you later, alligator. <laughs>